Hello everyone, my name is Brendan, I'm from Bluffton, and I studied abroad in Salamanca, Spain. Today in my last video, I want to tell you guys why I think you should study abroad, and also how you can start getting set up to study abroad. But first, I know a lot of people have some initial fears about studying abroad that are keeping them from jumping right in, so I want to address some of those first. So this is my roommate Drew, and he wants to study Arabic in Amman for 8 weeks, and he's going to talk about some of the things that might make him second guess a decision to study abroad. So one thing that makes me second guess myself to going to another country to study abroad would be, you know, here in America we are so comfortable and really we don't have anything to worry about. Then all of a sudden we get pushed to this foreign country that you're not used to. So then you're automatically uncomfortable and anything that's not comfortable, we kind of stray away. We're so used to where we are and, you know, it's, it's that good feeling of being comfortable. So I think Drew definitely raises a legitimate concern about being pushed outside of your comfort zone, especially as Americans. But of course, there always is going to be that initial culture shock, and it's not going to last the whole time you're there. The first few weeks in a foreign country can be frustrating and difficult, but I think you'll be surprised at how quickly you learn the culture. Y tienes que adaptarte. And you will, with time. Now guys, I want to give you just two reasons why I think you should study abroad, especially in Spain. The first thing, and it's very cliche, but studying abroad in Spain will change your life. The Spanish people are a very warm people. Many of them have a more laid-back attitude towards life than a lot of Americans. This could be a great opportunity to expand your mind, see things in a new way, have a new perspective that you can take with you when you come home. Studying abroad in Spain taught me to slow down, to remember the important things in life, and to have an open mind going into anything that's different than what you're used to. And the second reason I think you guys should study abroad is because you will have the time of your life, I guarantee it. There's going to be difficult moments, there's going to be frustrating moments, but at the end of the day, you will make a lot of friends from a lot of different places, learn a lot of things about other cultures, and feel so much secure about connecting people that are from a different country than you. This kind of skill is priceless coming back to your daily life in the United States or trying to get a job here in an increasingly globalizing world. Alright, so you've made it this far and you're ready to make that next step in getting set up to study abroad. What do you do? Well, the first step is to talk to people who know more about it and who can help get you set up. Talk to some of your professors that would know more about it. For me, it was mainly Dr. Buttes in the Department of International Language and Culture Studies who helped me work up the confidence to decide to go and also helped me pick which program, so I'd like to give a huge thank you to him. Also guys, this is going to be a necessity for you. You're going to have to go to the Office of International Education and Walp Student Union 145. The staff is really friendly there, um, Meg Underwood. Uh, maybe you'll meet with her. She helped me tremendously get everything set up and look for scholarships. And speaking of scholarships, a lot of you guys are going to need those to be able to afford the study abroad. And for me, of course, it's the reason I'm making these videos is uh, Generation Study Abroad giving me a, a huge opportunity uh, to make my study abroad possible, and I'm very thankful for that. So guys, the best thing you can do is just talk to people who know more about it and who can get you set up, because that's really going to get your confidence going and making it seem like more of a reality to you. So guys, I hope this last video helped you out a lot, and I wish you all the best in any of your study abroad endeavors, and as they say in Spain, hasta luego.